in today's video. Odonto Panera is one of the most widespread ponderine species. It's your typical Asian ponderine. Ponderine ants are one of the most fascinating subfamilies of ants you can keep, for they combine simple social organization with a high diversity of morphological, ecological and behavioral traits. Odonto Panera was first recognized as a distinct genus in 1862 by Mayer an ant species which was described a year earlier by Frederick Smith as Ponera denticulata. The genus of Odontopanera currently contains two species, one of which has three subspecies, O. denticulata, O. transversa, O. transversa biconcentrica, O. transversa infuscata, and O. transversa nitens. They are medium-sized ants, workers spanning from 9 to 12 millimeters, and the queens ranging from 11 to 13 millimeters. They have short and strong mandibles, short legs, and cannot climb smooth surfaces, and their coloration varies from dark red to black. They also possess a stinger. The mandibles contain some of the most important diagnostic characters in ponderine taxonomy and provide a wealth of insight into the ecological niches of the ants that have them. Although the ponderine eye are ancient and very primitive, they comprise nevertheless the genera or subgenera in which the mandibles are highly specialized and differ from those of most formicids in having elongated linear blades with few modified teeth or other structural differences. And in the case of Odontopanera, can be differentiated from other ponerines by their denticulate interior clipial margin. They have other interesting characteristics such as tooth pronotal margins, those spikes on the side of their thorax, and the strong stride sculpturing of the Odontopanera is also very characteristic, what we call the fingerprint pattern. The distribution of Odontopanera stretches from Pakistan all the way to the Philippines and from southern China to the islands of southern Indonesia. One of the most widespread ant genus in all sites surveyed was Odontopanera. They can be found in urban areas, agricultural areas and natural forests, possibly due to its aggressiveness, carnivorous and scavenger habits. Ants occupy 10% or more of the total terrestrial animal biomass in the major biomes and play an important role in energy flows and biomechanical cycles as predators of soil invertebrates and scavengers and soil mixing agents. As such, every aspect of foraging, foraging site, food preference, daily activity or foraging range is important and should not be ignored. Odontopanera are a ground dwelling type of ants. They are highly adaptable and can nest in various environments, but their preference is for forest areas, where they will nest either on the ground or on the embankment slopes. It is estimated to exist between half to 1.25 odontopanera nests on each square meter of forest area. Their nest entrances, which are mostly circular, vary in diameter from 3.5 to 5 millimeters. Each entrance can only accommodate one worker either entering or exiting. There are no ant hills associated with the nests of this species. Regardless of whether it is built on flat ground or on a slope, Odontopanera colonies usually have only one nest. The nest is a series of horizontal chambers stacked on top of one another. Each chamber height is generally 5 mm and a few can reach 15 mm. Regarding the width, varies between 13 to 68 mm. The entry point's slender connection tunnel branches out and extends deep into the soil. They are connected to the main nest chambers at different depths. The uppermost nest chamber depth varies between 97 to 365 mm from the ground surface, and the lowest nest chamber is located between 110 to 575 mm from the ground surface. Queens and larvae usually live in the lower chambers, and workers are scattered in the upper nests. Solitary Odontopanero workers forage almost exclusively above the ground and are generalist predators and scavengers. While the chief enemies of ants are other ants, 
The fiercest and most implacable enemies of termites are not other termites, but ants as well. Odontopanera is especially fond of termites and is often seen raiding their colonies, but being generalist scavenger and predator, ants and termites made up nearly half of the food items collected by Odontopanera workers. Workers are known to forage at lengths of 1.16 meters outside the nest, which is one of the furthest foraging lengths for exclusive ground foraging ants in Asia. Odontopanera is, however, a species known to have horizontal network with several nest entrances, thus the real foraging distance of Odontopanera may be much longer when considering underground galleries. The predatory efficiency and the use of interconnected nest entrances probably enable these fast-moving Odontopanera species to take hold of the new feeding opportunities faster than any other direct competitor species. Being one of the most dominant and widespread species means that fewer resources are distributed to the other competitor species. In observing its foraging and feeding behavior in a particular experiment with fruit flies larvae in the vicinity of their nests, due to the decomposition of an animal or fruit matter, the Odontopanera workers show more interest in mobile than static larvae during their first encounters. As time passed by, foragers were seen becoming more and more aggressive, snatching both mobile and static larvae, indicating that, that experience such as learning and memories are an important part of the foraging and hunting patterns of the Odontopanera species. Odontopanera are considered to be diurnal ants starting their first activity cycle around 4 am peaking at 15 p.m. and stopping all, all external activity at 18 p.m. Colonies of the typical ponerine contain a few dozen to a few hundred adult workers and a single or few delayed queens. Workers are monomorphic. The queen is morphologically similar to the workers, except for its larger eyes, ocelli, modified thoracic flight sclerites, what we call wing scars, and enlarged caster. Workers retain ovaries and spermatheca and may lay haploid eggs, which will turn out to be males only. The division of labor among workers follows a typical pattern of age differentiation, with young workers performing nest duties and older workers foraging. Throphylaxis does not occur between adults or between adults and larvae. As such, prey is fed directly to the larvae, and pupae are enclosed in cocoons. In ants, dispersal strategies and morphology of female sexuals are generally linked to the mode of colony founding. In species using long-range dispersal tactics, queen worker dimorphism is generally high and young queens are able to initiate new colonies by themselves, using their metabolic reserves. By contrast, in species using short-range dispersal strategies, queen worker dimorphism is generally low and due to their limited, limited metabolic reserves, 
queens have lost the capacity to raise their brood alone and to found their colony independently. Moreover, polygyny is also often associated with short-range dispersal strategies. In the case of Odontoponera, queens adopt independent colony foundation with the possibility of polygyny. Having a weak queen worker divergence, small flight muscles, their histolysis is clearly not a sufficient source of amino acids for the developing larvae. The queens need to forage outside their shelter at regular intervals to feed the first generation of larvae. Furthermore, ponderine larvae cannot be fed by regurgitated secretions and instead they eat some of the queen's eggs or pieces of prey brought into the nest. Semi-claustral ICF is linked with poor success rates due to the risk of brood parasitism and predation on foraging queens.